Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builders Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Yale .019 two-step increment, obviously. This is a bottom pin. It's their part number 251-0. Uh, the length on this pin, I think, is 182 thousandths of an inch. Let's take a closer look. Actually, we'll just measure it. But I can tell you that it is 182 thousandths. So Yale is a two-step system where their increments between a 6 and a 7, let's say, would be 0 0.019. Uh, so when you're pinning this material, you're going to you know, have all even parity or all odd parity. Uh, you'll either use all even numbers or odd numbers generally. You don't have to, but you know, if you're master keying a system, that's generally what you would find. So while you, could, you, you have a zero length pin here, um, the which is 182 thousandths. The one length pin is 19 thousandths more, which is 0.201. That increment between those are too small to have a number one master wafer, so you wouldn't you, you would not pin it that way. Um, I'm gonna put the caliper on here just for the sake of doing it. Oh yeah, 0.1. That is. That is exactly 0.182. Exactly. That's the length of that small pin perfectly. Um, there is an image down below, a couple of them, where you'll be able to see the profile a little bit better. You won't be able to see any of that just on this camera. Let's switch to the screen view and let's take a closer look at those images and the supporting documentation. Here is indeed the item that we're looking at. Uh, and the images that I promised are here. The back side of the packaging here. It's a close-up view of the pin as best as we can muster at this time, showing that sort of detail point that you have here, the flattened bottom point. Okay, now let's take a look at the manufacturer's page in our site, which is here linked down below this video. From there we can open up the product catalog, and we're certainly going to find um, you know, Lab Original Pins, page 8. Let's scroll to page 8. Uh, I did not actually measure the diameter of this pin. Doing so now. Point one one. 6.116 basically. And as we continue to review, uh, you know, you see that it's broken up by manufacturers. Well, on page 9 is where the Yale comes in. This is a part number 251. They don't list that for some reason in the catalog. I wish they would uh, because the 251 is on their packaging. Um, 115,000. See, I measured basically 1155. Um, and you can see the outline here, okay? Seven master sizes, ten bottom pins, zero through nine. That's a, that ten step, you know, there are ten increments there. That, that's an automatic indicator that it, it is a two-step system. Three ba brass driver pins, so your pin stack is going to dictate which length driver pin that you use. But this right here is what we're looking at, okay? Very handy. Um, resource has in here all of the real the very common pins obviously Schlage here Quickset okay um, Dorma I've not done really much Dorma pinning here Wiser Corbin Russwin Master Arrow all of these manufacturers use different dimensional properties for all of those very small internal components within the cylinders themselves. And it could be that Lab is the original equipment manufacturer for those people. I know that they make pins for major lock manufacturers, uh, and they do an exceptional job at it. I think one time in 30 years I got a pin that was clearly um, deformed, but of the tens of thousands of pins that we've used over the years, <laughs> that's pretty amazing. Um, I would love to be able to go to their factory. Someday I plan to, um, if that invitation is ever available to me. 
So you'll be able to review all of their different pins. Again, I wish they would put the part number there, but for now, just call it out as Yale brand. And then we'll know, so you'll call it out as Yale brand. And then you're gonna say the size pin that you want as either a master, a bottom, or a driver. And then you'll be in good shape, okay? If it's a driver, call it out by its length. Now, this catalog is extremely useful because it will show you all things lab related. And here in the table of contents really gives you the summary of everything important. And as we scroll through, we'll just quickly let you know that Aloha here, this is the um, governing national organization when it comes to locksmiths. Institutional locksmiths is another organization. Okay. The MLA I'm not familiar with. And I don't know why they have two different Aloha logos here. This clearly, they are different. This is the logo I'm more familiar with, with the red shield. They talk about how the pins are packaged. These are just uh, in poly bag is what we have here in front of us. And then an overview, the, oh, the 3000 system, the 5000 system. What will be different here would be, the, of course, the increments. I wouldn't recommend a 5,000 system um, because I find that 5,000s between different length pins is simply too long, and the 3,000 system is preferable. And this universal pin is going to work in lots of applications. However, if you're working within a specific environment, order those pins exactly because they are literally engineered to work from conception uh, for that system that you're working on. Also springs. Be sure that you're using the proper springs for your application. Okay, Slide covers uh, and um, caps for interchangeable core work is here. Shim stock. Those pins that we were just looking at on pages 8 and 9. And then there are keying kits that come into play here. This classic pro, the emer emerald wedge, the green case. This I've owned several of these. Uh, over the years. I have also from lab a the Woody uh, when it comes to interchangeable core for Falcon, but everything else I pretty much have as manufacturer original kits. If I'm pinning Corbin Ruswin, I need, de depending on the project, I need to use an original Corbin Ruswin kit. I have Sargent, I have Medico, etc., the whole nine yards. Um, and here would be the Woody kit that I have for the, la uh, the uh, A2 small format um, for pinning that material. You're going to find different springs for Best and Falcon. Be sure you're ordering and using the springs appropriate for that manufacturer. You will find that Best springs are not going to work very well when you're pinning Falcon cores. These Mini Direx pinning kits, these are um, literally, we've received these as giveaways when attending locksmithing classes, but they're really nice for doing a very, very small project. If you're doing two locks and you just want to walk to the door and do it, this is nice. Other accessories, locksmithing tools are here, plug followers, a th uh, threaded cap removal tool, lube, tweezers. This is a ejector uh, uh, block is what it is. You'll be able to drive the pins out of a interchangeable core with this to preserve those pins so that you can measure them to decode what was combinated. This is a Medico decombinating tray. A woody pinning tray here as well. Pickle fork is what they call this. Quick set cylinder removal tool. It's literally called a pickle fork. If you refer to it as that, quick set will know what you're talking about. Other odds and ends here. Okay, let's wrap up this video on camera. The name lab is synonymous with um, pins and accessories for pinning kits and I would not hesitate to recommend that you review their material. Every locksmith who's a practicing uh, working locksmith I am quite sure must own some equipment from lab. Uh, their emerald wedge at 3000's color coded kit is extremely common. I think everyone owns one. Um, there are times when you need to go outside of the lab uh, universe for a pinning kit but it's pretty unusual. Uh, when it comes to garden variety pinning. You're doing a lot of high security material. You will certainly be using original pins from the factory, but non-high security uh, material. Um, lab is a great choice. The one downside of lab of what people say is because they're color coded to the um, educated observer, excuse me, the educated observer, 
you can visually identify those pins. Yeah, you can narrow them down, there's no question. But if, unless you're a locksmith, um, you know, are you going to be able to see the difference between, you know, 195 thousandths and 210 thousandths down a dark cylinder hole? Um, well, you can tell the difference between 185 thousandths and 300 thousandths probably. So I don't, you know, to be technically accurate, I wouldn't want the pins um, color coded, but in garden variety keying, informa uh, keying applications, I just don't see it being an issue. Um, very high quality material. This client that I have is overseas. He is, this gentleman is in Hong Kong and he about once a year buys Yale padlocks from us and pins. Um, and he is obviously servicing some client that uses that material. I, I have no idea who the client is, but I can tell, tell you that the military is a very common use of Yale padlocks. Um, I know that the Postal Service, of course, uses Yale, et cetera, and Yale's a national, uh, pardon me, a global brand. It was Linus Yale Jr. who uh, literally invented and patented, he didn't invent it, he patented the pin tumbler system. He took that idea most certainly from an Egyptian idea from 4,000 years ago. But what Linus Yale Jr. did in the mid 19th century was bring to, um, bring to life uh, a cylinder technology that we all use every single day. I can't think of someone who doesn't use a pin tumbler in their regular day. Uh, whether you're going home or going to work, you're putting a key in anything, you're using it. Any questions on the 251 in a zero length in a Yale? So it's a 251 zero. It's a bottom pin it's a Yale zero bottom pin is what this is. It's a 251-0. Happens to be 0 .182. Any questions on this or any other Yale product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you. Again, thank you for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.